Well, what does music do for you as a storyteller, Stephen? Oh. No, you take a look at a very famous piece, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Sure. You know, the critics, of course, it's not called that. The real name of that is Fantasia in C sharp minor. But years afterwards, uh, some critics said, well, this is obviously written at the time when Beethoven was teaching music to the daughter uh, of an uh, Italian count and on Lake, yeah, you know, a beautiful lake at midnight, and he was courting her, and it was this love song. And you could you could say that, but I, I took a course in in this in New York, and William Kinderman, who now is teaching at UCLA, said that right. actually the Moonlight Sonata, that Beethoven lived in Bonn, Germany, and he lived right by the clock tower, and it kept gonging, bong. Bong, oh, and he oh, couldn't sleep, wow. and so the whole thing was an improvisation to wow. insomnia. And Isn't then it's... later, I heard I, I I have back here a a, a diary of Beethoven's, and and it said that he actually wrote that piece sitting at the bedside of a friend of his who was dying, dying, and is the sound of breath leaving the body, and at the very end, the. the Breath leaves the body and the spirit ascends to heaven. There's so very many end. stories associated with pieces of art. I mean, there's so many. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, that's incredible.